the price of iPhone has gone up by 15%. If the present price is 1380 what's the original price? So let's say the original price, OP is original price, is say P. The present price or the current price is present price is $1,380, $1,380, and percentage increase is 15, is 15, okay, and yeah, <clears throat> so here we can say P is the original price and the, there's an increase of 15%, you want to find the original price. You want to go backwards. Okay. So let us go the straight way. Uh, okay. Suppose now to explain this, let me explain something else. So suppose uh, let us make us two columns. This is the original price and this is the increased price. Okay. If suppose and the percentage increase is same 15%. So if suppose it was $1 and uh, one dollar is hundred cents so one dollar if it increases by fifteen percent you can say it is one hundred and fifteen cents one hundred and fifteen cents which is one dollar one point one five dollar or one dollar fifteen cents so when anything increases by 15%, this can be called as a ratio or a factor, or this is called a factor or a multiplying number. So what it means is, suppose something costed, say, something had a cost of, say, $12, and it increases by, it has increased by 15%. So what you do is, 12 times 1.15. So let us use a calculator, 12 times 1.15 is $13.80, is $13.80. Now if you want to go from year to year, you, so here we can say $38.80 has got 12 times 1 point is equal to 12 times 1.15. Now, but what if you have a situation like this, an opposite situation? You don't know the original price. The original price, let us make, let me write this, original price and the increased price. Okay, the same 15%. Uh, we know the increased price is, so this has increased by, say, 1, 15%. And we know the increased price is, say, $30. So the question is, how would you find P, or this is X, suppose. So, so, well, we know, we can think like this, this $30 is X times 1.15 is equal to 30, because this has the same principle. This $13.80 you got by multiplying 12 with 1.15. So using the same principle, if this is X, and we know this is X has increased by 15%, you got 30. I can say X times 1.15 is 30. So to get rid of this 1.15 from the left-hand side, I have to divide by 1.15. So you do the same thing on the other side. So X is 30 divided by 1.15. So this is a one important concept you need to understand where students do get confused in different ways. So it is 20, it's not a neat number, it's $26.09. So this is $26, $26.09. That is $26.09. And, uh, okay, so let us look at this example. So well, we can say, I'll re erase this. If P is the price, if P is the original price and the increase is 15%, I can say P times 1.15 is nothing but the increased price, which is 1,380. So to get rid of this 1.15, I'll divide this by 1.15. 
So it also divided this by 1.15. So P is 1380 divided by 1.15. So let us do that 1380 divided by 1.15, which is 1200. So it's always good to make sense to see whether the answer makes sense. So the original price we are saying is 1200. So you can do this, say 10%, say 10% of that is 120. So 5% is half of this, which is 60. So 15% is 180. 180. And this and this, if you add 1200 plus 180 is 1380. Or you can also check like this. 1200 times 1 1.15 should be, so let us do that, 1200 times 1 1.15 is 1380. Uh, so one of the common mistakes that students do is when whenever they have an example like this, they take off, try to take off 15% from this and they think that that is the uh, original price. But try that. You take off 15% from this, you will never get or you will not get 1,200.